this is me after like bath and my hair is very wet and still uh, wet and I'm just gonna talk okay hi guys so it's good to be back so I was away for a while so on February I took a break it's not because I wanted a break but it's because a lot of things happened I was quite busy with work because I have full-time job and yeah and I didn't have the time to do a lot of stuff so I'm back so this is gonna be my first video on March this video is going to be about GOT7! Yeah! So if you guys all know that I love GOT7, it's obvious in my Instagram and everywhere that I post it. But because I'm going to their concert on March, which is on March 7th, so hopefully I post this video before, not after. So let's just hope. So GOT7 will be coming on March. And I'm going to do a video uh, regarding outfits because I like fashion. I'm trying to experiment with fashion. So most of my fashion sense are very inspired. According to my friends, I like to be very Korean-ish. It's not 100% though, but yeah, I get my inspiration from here and there. And definitely GOT7 plays a lot, a big part in my fashion sense. So today's video is going to be about fashion. GOT7 fashion inspired outfit. So let's get started. So the first one would be Jin Yong. So Jin Yong is actually, uh, he's one of the member in GOT7. He's actually part of the group called JJ Prof. JJ project before with JB. He's been in the JYP entertainment company and he's been in this in the field in the entertainment field for quite some time. But as what I see um, Jin Yong Swan is that his fashion sense is very uh, basic in a sense it's not basic like uh, basic but it's just basics. He likes to wear jeans, a black shirt, white shirt, uh, jeans, yeah, those kind of thing. His outfit, I actually have the exact kind because uh, I don't know why for some reason I have it, so I'm kind of scoring that. So his one, as you can see, is uh, a suit kind of uh, outfit. Uh, actually, that suit is he wore it during for an interview last year for uh, his spinning top. Yeah, spinning top or world tour so his one is very basic which is black pants black shirt and a blue blazer so obviously i have that so as you can see this is how it looks this one is very basic and he likes to be very plain like among all the members he's actually quite the the most uh, he don't really go out all out in terms of fashion sense as well meaning that he don't have colored hair most of the time he don't have piercings he's like your prince charming in korea like he looks like any other stereotypical Korean guy, but a very good looking type. Next is Mark. For Mark, is he is one of the members that is more experimental with outfit. I almost have the same uh, outfit. Comes with a turtleneck shirt. Uh, jacket, a leather jacket and also a chain. I saw it and I just followed it as it is. So that's what I have it. He is more experimental with outfit is because um, I don't know maybe he's from, he's from the States I guess I don't know. He's more open to new colors and so on. So I would say that Mark uh, outfit is more like your bad boy kind of look. I have the exact one but mine is not black turtleneck. Mine is like greenish but because it's in the video you can't really see. I bought my leather jacket from Taobao so if you all know that Taobao is like a Chinese web, uh, Chinese retail website uh, clearly I can't read Mandarin so I had to ask a friend. It's a good platform to buy certain stuff so I bought this leather jacket it's only 50 ringgit including shipping all the way from China. It's not the best quality but if if it's for fashion yeah why not yeah one more thing is that because it has this plasticky kind it kind of makes you feel very warm but if let's say you're going to a clubs or i don't know if you're going to a club or if going on like a date i don't know you can wear that one more thing is that 
this leather jacket you have to buy like at least double the size of yours is because uh because it's all the way from china and china ladies are much more smaller in size compared to me which i'm would clearly say i'm not really that small i'm quite big so i had to buy double the size but i managed to buy and yeah i kind of like it because the fit is more like a loose loose kind so yeah that is mark for you next Okay, Yu Gyo Mi. So Yu Gyo is a dancer. I don't know whether you guys know he's a dancer. So I feel that he likes outfits that is a bit more loose kind because he can move around and stuff. So this is mine. Mine is also like flannel, but mine looks kind of old because it's quite some time. So I just I did not buy anything new from this whole uh, Got Seven inspired outfit. So as you can see, he's wearing he likes flannel. So I also have flannel. So I pair up with a skirt because um, I think pairing up with a skirt makes it uh, give you the cinch waist. It makes your waist a bit smaller. And also, uh, I pair it up with a chain that I previously bought from Mark. So uh, in this video, you're gonna see I wear. I did not change much because I just wear all the basic kind like the chain and stuff. So it's gonna be the same, but you can always change up to your own um, your own preference. So yeah, that is. You get me for you. Next is Jackson. Okay, Jackson. Okay, there are two members that it's very hard for me to do the outfit kind of thing, inspired outfit. Uh, I feel Jackson and also Bam Bam, later you will see, their outfit style, their style is very classy. Okay, so I don't have that much of a classy kind of outfit. In terms for Jackson, I had to pair up something that I clearly see him wear almost every time. Before Jackson 2017, 2018, he likes to wear a lot of leather jacket one and also he likes to wear like a uh, sweater. I bought this sweater from Terra Nova, it's only like I don't know 30 40 ringgit. So mine is not the zip kind, mine is more like putting over. For me personally, I like a uh, sweater that you put over so I don't know it gives you like a nice cozy feel I wore my leather jacket that I had before as you can see and also my grey uh, my grey sweater he likes black more often but I like grey I think I don't have anything that's grey so I have to wear something that's grey lah. so again I pair up with the skirt the same skirt that I wore you can actually wear a pants I think uh, having like a nice like a white jeans pants is quite nice in terms of this because your sweater is quite loose so I tucked, it, I tucked it in and also I wore my leather jacket over yeah so so this is how Jackson looks like I Jackson inspired outfit looks like I don't know if it's the best but yeah now this is where the hard part comes in big horse Bam Bam is a fashionista in God 7. He loves everything bling bling. He loves everything colorful. He loves everything nice and sexy. He likes it nice and fitted. For Bam Bam's outfit, what I chose, what I wore and what I chose is not a good representation but it's because it's black and if you can see in his outfit, his one is like a shirt with like a bag, like a bit of a white jean, a white pants. I also have like a white pants and then I wore, your, wore my black shirt. So what I did was I tie it to give me like a waist, give me like a cinch waist. I wore my black pants and then I tied my shirt like a little bit of rubber band and I just push it over and yeah that's my look for Bam Bam. Bam Bam loves um, I think among all the members he's the most uh, his sense of style is very expensive because uh, he likes it like Gucci, Vinci, Vanchi, YSL all those kind of expensive brands which for you know I can't afford it so I have to walk around with his outfit so I hope you guys like it Alright, so Yongjin on the other hand, um, I think as you can see um, in this video that each and everyone has their own sense of style. So for like Jackson, he likes Adidas. So that's why if you can see his outfit is more like um, very sporty kind. Whereas uh, the Bam Bam on the other hand is more uh, more like expensive look. So that's why he go lean into more like the Givenchy, YSL all those kind of things. So Yongji on the other hand, he likes Supreme. Also like flannel, but his flannel is on the pants. Like he likes to wear flannel pants with a nice 
basic black shirt or white shirt so I bought my black shirt from JB's collection I cause I gotta support my boo and this is like my first ever J Cos7 related kind of uh, outfit that I have so I pair it up with my G uh, with my flannel pants I bought it from Cotton On it's around 30 bucks if I'm not mistaken and also my my JB shirt so I pair it up with the chain as well yeah so the, his outfit is uh, I would say a bit more uh, Korean-ish I think it's a good uh, way to experiment with outfit because flannel or shirt looks fine but flannel or pants we don't know right so I wore this and I got a lot of good response so yeah so Young Jay's done Last but not the least, it's my boy JB. As you all know, JB is my buyer. J Bomi is my 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 imaginary boyfriend. <laughs> His outfit is for some reason I got it like I'm quite happy, but I just had to change up. So his one, as you can see, is a blue and white but blue shirt with white stripe and I also have the same thing and I bought it from Thailand I don't know how much was it cost I think it was around 25 ringgit the problem with that outfit that I have is actually very long it seems like a mother maternity outfit so what I did I tucked it in and I wore my chain is the uh, cross and the other big chunky chain and I fold it folded my sleeve and wear a skirt so again skirt to make the waist cinch I did not experiment this outfit at all before and when I experimented with this outfit for this video, I was like, why didn't I try it? And I saw another girl also wear the same outfit but she wore it with a, uh, shorts, like jeans, denim shorts. And I was like, yes, this outfit is everything. And yeah, it was so nice because it works well with his, what I capture it and what I have it. So I think it complements each other. So yeah, that is my God Silver inspired outfit. If you ask me which one is my most favorite, actually there's two. Uh, I actually like Yong Jae's one, the flannel pants and the JB shirt, the black shirt and also JB's one. But if I have to give an uh, honorable mention, I definitely like Jackson's one. Jackson's one feels more... Uh, you can wear it anywhere but because it's Malaysia and Malaysia weather is very hot so I don't think so it's applicable but if let's say you're going to like I don't know Genting Highland, <laughs> Cameron Highland maybe you can wear that so I hope you guys like my video I hope uh, you guys enjoy this video let me know what you guys think do you guys like this kind of video inspired uh, fashion inspired kind of video so if you guys like it maybe you can give me a thumbs up and yeah let me know if you like it maybe you can give me some ideas uh, which celebrity or which uh, fashion kind of video that you want me to do so I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, thank you for watching and this is your girl Ramen here Ruby <laughs> So this is your girl Ruby and I hope to see you next time. Bye!